this video, we're going to show you how to take softwood cuttings. We're going to be using the same Argoranthemum cuttings we took a month ago in early May, and I'm going to put the link to that video up in the YouTube cards and also in the description below. It's, this, this, this technique is good to go for any other perennials you may have in your garden, such as petunias and pelargoniums. Also good for deciduous shrubs, there's fuchsia, there's buddleia, amongst others. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. We're here to help you develop your gardening skills, such as showing you how to grow vegetables, how to take cuttings, how to prune, and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no charge, and don't forget to press that all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Morning, everybody. Sun's out again, isn't it lovely? We've had a bit of a cold spell, but uh, now we can get out and enjoy the garden a bit more. Um, and today uh, we're looking at some cuttings. Now, four weeks ago, you may remember, we took these Argoranthemum cuttings. Uh, these actually should have been potted on last weekend because they've started to grow. In fact, they've actually started to grow towards the light, which is not a good idea, but they'll, they, will, they will be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll pop them on and pinch them out and they'll be great. Um, you can usually tell when, things, when cuttings are rooted because they just grow away. And in this case, it's very obvious that they've grown away. But if you weren't sure, the little trick you can do is to sort of um, make sure your compost is nice and moist and then maybe give it a little tap around and then put your hand in there so that you've actually got all the compost contained and gently lift it out. And there you are, it's a bit like you're making sandcastles, isn't it? Um, you can see here that the roots are all growing down and that's fine. So we know that would be all right. Now, we're going to actually split these up now, so I won't put it back in there. I'm trying to find the one in the middle, because the one in the middle is the one which we took from a heel cutting. And it actually doesn't look any different from the others. We just see whether it's got more roots. So gently ease it apart. Try to da damage the roots as little as possible. And out come the rooted cuttings. OK, so we've, uh, we've, we've, we've knocked these out. We've, um, um, I'm going to pop them onto so, into some ordinary John in this. I've put a bit of extra grit in this because I like the better drainage. Um, next size up pot. We don't want a massive pot because they're just going to be grown on a little bit and then we'll get them out into the garden wherever they're going to grow uh, to get them going. So here we go. Um, they've fallen apart when I put them down. And the middle one, as I say, is when I want to see whether there's any difference. Um, I'm pulling that one out first. And actually, there it is. And I'll compare it with another one, which is very similar. And not a lot of difference. <laughs> it's not really a very scientific way of doing it, but um, in this example, it doesn't look as though taking a heel cutting made any difference whatsoever. But mind you, this of course was taken in May. It's a good time to take cuttings. Everything's warm. They would have um, germinated, uh, sorry, they would have rooted really well anyway. So it might have made a difference if we tried doing it in September, shall we say. Anyway, so you're all happy, I'm sure, with potting on. A little bit of soil at the bottom. Hold the, uh, the plant uh, in the middle of the pot and then trickle the compost around it. Let its roots go down as far as it can. Then just drink, gently trickle this compost around the roots and make sure there's good contact with the compost and the roots. Um, I'm just going to gently firm it down. It's right in the middle, it's very good. And you can see there's room there for uh, the, as to water it and that water there will then work its way down so there that one's ready to go and I'll put the pot on the other four plant in the middle nice strong roots on these I'm very pleased with these um, I'm around them a little bit and there we are same sort of process over and over again um, being a John in his compost it will have um, nutrients in it sufficient to get them going and that they'll only really want a, a couple of weeks in there uh, then I will um, uh, plant, plant them out in the garden. I'm doing this fairly quickly because I'm in the sun and the root should never be exposed to the sun more than essential. There we are all ready to go. I'm going to take those in now put them Somewhere sheltered for the for the for for, um, for the day, and then um, water them. They're right. 
There's one thing I do have to do with these, because they've gone a bit leggy, they do want pinching out. Some have already started to form buds, so I'm just going to get in here. Pair, use scissors if you're not too sure, but I've got a sharp, sharp, uh, uh, sharp nail, and I'm used to this, so I just pinch the top out like that. I'm pinching out the, the, the flowering buds, and in this case there's a long shoot there, I'm going to take that shoot back. And here's the last one, you can see it starting to grow into a flower there, so just pinch that out right down, close to a node, and that'll be fine. I'll keep them a bit shady just to start with till they get going, but they'll be away in next to no time. Two or three weeks I can plant them out in my pots or wherever I want to fill a hole in the border. Um, Argoranthums are lovely things, they, they, they'll they start flowering quite shortly. Um, I, may, I could have had these much, much earlier, uh, and they would keep flowering all through the summer. They're a wonderful little plant. The, the only snag, of course, is they're not completely winter hardy. So that's why we take cuttings and over winter cuttings. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us in our Somerset Garden. We very much enjoyed having you. If you enjoyed that, do consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press that all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video.